point, let's, uh, where did you find the bedrock earlier? You found it down here, right? <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Yeah. You, I think you broke up there for a minute. But, um, where did you find the bedrock? The bedrock? Oh, um, and I got the bedrock. Nice. Cut it. Anyway, so, yeah, sorry about that. I got disconnected. Anyway, what, where did you, wait, where did you go? I'm looking for it. Okay. So I wanted to show, just to prove a point, that obsidian, or not obsidian. Bedrock, bedrock can't be broken. Yes. So. Uh. Now, it's possible, they say, to do it. Um, and I've seen it actually happen, that they can destroy bedrock, but it's, like, nearly impossible. Which doesn't make sense because obsidian doesn't. I don't know. It's it's really really weird, and I don't think you'd really want to see that because the last thing you want to do is fall into the void. So. Uh, okay, it's not a big deal. What, what level are we on? We're in, we can just make a staircase. And hell, we might even find some more diamonds like this. Uh, if you do, I will not be happy. Just saying. I'm usually lucky with these things. And all I ever end up finding is stupid red stuff. Red stuff. Okay, and so here, iron. here is some bedrock. Um, and I'm gonna use my diamond pick. And notice how you, you don't get to see the little breaking animation yeah, on like this. Yes, like you just saw right there. Um, yeah, bedrock is unbreakable. Let me see if I can actually get closer to the void here. There are rare occasions where you can actually see the void through the bedrock, but no, it doesn't seem I can get any further down. I'm at second. I'm at level two. <laughs> um, oh, I took a screenshot. Never mind. All right, I'm gonna. I want to prove a. Points, I guess. So I'm just gonna cheat for a second here. Game mode one. I'm in creative. Now I'll just break these and there is the void. You can get a little view of this as well if you want. As you can see there's nothing there. You fall in, you die. <laughs> There's and all your nice, happy stuff goes with you. Yes. So let me see. I'm flying. Now, it doesn't kill you right away when you go in. Can you see me? I can see your name tag still. Can you see me at all? No. Well, now I can. Interesting. Now I can't. That's interesting. I never Wait, knew about nope, that. Nope, nope. I can, I can see you still. Still can't Be careful not stuff. to fall. Okay, that's all. But anyway, I'm going to cover <laughs> that up. Point is, that's the void, just so you guys can see that. Let me... Nope. Oh, God, I almost fell. Okay. <laughs> um, you're, you're, you're gone now. I'm, I'm, I'm flying. Don't worry. It's fine. But you can... It's This is the void. You fall down in here, and you fall to your death, and there's no... I don't know. It's just... It's miserable. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna just patch that up. No, 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 no. Move, move from where, please. Move. Okay, so I'm going to just. I'm just gonna fill it in with some bedrock. There you go. Alright, so that proves hey, the point. Hey, we have bedrock now. Huh? Actually, bedrock looks kind of cool. Can we use it in the house? I am. No, that's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> How is that cheating? You can't normally obtain bedrock. I suppose. But yeah, so that's that's that. Alright, so what else? That um, about covers that cover underground stuff. Now while we're here, I can show you how to make minecart mine mine carts and mine rails. Or rather I could if I had iron pieces. I'm gonna have to smelt some down right now. Um, there. I have... Oh, perfect. Well, I'm just going to smelt what we have here. 
Um, I need one more, actually. Yeah, that, that's all I have. Alright, well, that's fine. I'm good now. So, to make iron rails, you are pretty much making a ladder, but instead you're using irons. Did I show you how to make... I never showed how to make ladders, actually. Never mind. Oh. So, I'm going to show you that, too, actually, because we have some in the... We showed you that when, when we went to the attic in the roof. But basically, this is... You, it looks exactly like a rail. You have the two bars and you have the little sticks in the middle. And you get 16 pieces of rail from this one recipe. Very nice yield, I think. And to make ladders, it's the same thing, but you can use sticks instead. And you get three per whole thing here. Okay, doke. And ladders you can place on walls so you can climb up. They work like vines. And yeah, whatever. Alright, is there anything else we want to cover down here? I think we're pretty good. Yeah. Um, we have three diamonds. Well, since we had 11 upstairs. That would make 14 diamonds. Um, really, the next point to like really progress further is to go to the nether. Because we have enough now to like build all the other cool stuff um it would be nice if we get a lot of diamonds to make ourselves full suits of di diamond armor but i don't really see us skinning that far in this considering the time it would take to mine up all that diamond yeah and um, isn't it it's not totally that necessary because it's not like iron armor is terrible oh but diamond armor you're pretty much like unstoppable in but um at the least, we'll probably make two diamond swords for us. Um, 14 diamonds. So we'll have 10 diamonds left over if we do that. And that's plenty for what I have in store for us. Um, so... Yeah, because in diamonds anyway, to make a full suit of armor, you need 24 pieces of the material so diamonds we need 24 so that's f um 48 for the both of us that's yeah. ridiculous i there's no way we're doing that so yeah we'll we'll just make ourselves some diamond swords which would be you know perfectly badass for us and and then we only need like two for the other things that i need that i want to go over so yeah I'll, that'll be pretty much it all right so uh how long have we been recording for i think Probably about uh, an hour. Yeah, a little bit more. Hour and a half, probably. So, that pretty much covers what we've been doing over what we've been... Oh, alright. So, actually, there's one more thing I want to cover. Um, do you have the iron? Actually, yeah. I have enough. But anyway. So, I have enough. It's fine. But to make... So, I showed you how to make mine rails. We can also make mine carts. And that's how you make one. I'm not going to make one now. But basically you can put on top of mine rails. Actually I'll just make one. What the hell. And. The nice thing about mine carts. Is that you can. You know, you can ride them obviously. And it'll act as a nice fast way of travel. Me and Yami plan to make. A, like a nice uh, railroad system. Between here and home. So that will be easy way of like travel. And there's also some really nice things. You can do about this. So I'm going to make a chest. We already have a chest. I know, I'm making a second one, but... Basically... So, with this minecart, you, what you can do is... If you put a minecart in a crafting table, and you put a chest on top of it, you can get a minecart with a chest inside of it. And basically, that acts as a movable storage system. Do you get what I mean? Oh, yeah, so, like... Or we so come you down can, here... Like, you can move, have the minecart down here with the chest in it so that you can store stuff in it and then you can just move, you can ship it off to uh, back home so you don't have to carry it yourself. Oh. Yeah. So that's one thing you can do with the minecart. The second thing is this, actually. I'm going to... Oh, careful. Don't let me hit you. You take the furnace instead and you put the... Where's the cart? Did you take the cart? I think it dropped it, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. here. So if you put the furnace instead of a minecart, you get a minecart with a furnace. And basically it acts as like an engine so that it can push stuff 
for you. Um, yeah, I guess the way it works is that like it, once you you put like coal into it, and it will start moving by itself, and it will push things in front of you, in front of it, rather. And so it'll, be a it'll way to, work if we make the mine cart go like uphill. Yeah, exactly. Because if it's if it has to go uphill, it's gonna obviously stop moving and like slide back down or something. So that will help it move along, and yeah, it'll be nice and dandy. Um, now there's also a few other things. This sort of gets into redstone, which um, I kind of wanted to leave for its own separate recording. Um, should I go over this right now? This this has to do with minecarts, but I don't know. It's um, up to you. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna. Since I'm going over minecarts, I might as well. I might need redstone. Do you have redstone on you? No. All right, there's plenty in the. All fifty stacks of it is upstairs. I remember seeing some in the. Inside. Wait, there's there's some in here. I don't know. Yeah, there's some. There's plenty over here. Yeah. Got some. So this is redstone again. If you don't know, and you can only mine it up with an iron pickaxe or better. Um. So, let me just make sure. I, I'm, I might be wrong about this. I haven't made one of these. Now, this is one of the uses for gold ore or gold bars. Now, I believe it's. Wait, what happened to all the iron I had? Oh, right. I made the iron thing with it. The. Okay, so let me see. I might be wrong. I believe this is... Nope, that's not it. Uh, I might be gold ingots instead of... Alright, let me just check this out real quick. Now this is what you had the Minecraft wiki for. <laughs> uh... Basically, if you don't know what recipes, you look up the Minecraft wiki and it tells you. In the meanwhile, I'm going to also just mention this. Um, a lot of the things I learned in Minecraft, it's due to one person who I watch online by the name of Paul Soros Jr. He is the father of Minecraft tutorials, if you will. He's the very first person to ever make a tutorial for Minecraft. Um, his tutorial was hosted on the Minecraft.net server, I mean, website, and, you know, he, he's still doing tutorials now on Minecraft, ever since the new release, the, the few, the, the actual release of Minecraft. So, and he's showing all the new stuff and stuff, so anyone who's interested in that, uh, definitely check his channel out. He has tutorials that are probably way better than mine. Um, and I would suggest you look them up as well. You hear me? Yes. Yeah. You heard me, right? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. So, Paul Source Jr. I'll try to remember to put an annotation. By the time I get to this episode to record it, probably a week or two from now, but... Oh, well... Okay, rail, uh, power rail, rather, powered rail, my, uh, browser is being really silly right now, okay, that's normal rail, yeah, 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 that's a, well, a really uh hard. I'm sorry, guys, I'm yawning You're like this. I'm not, I don't know, I guess just really tired right now. Technical. Where is this stuff? Powered. There we go. Okay. Let's see if I can find the recipe for this. Yep, okay. I figured that was what it was. Alright, so I was on the verge of getting that. Do I have enough? Six pieces. Yes, I do. Alright, so basically it's the same way you make iron 
uh, rails, you use gold instead. You put a stick in the middle, and you put a piece of redstone in the very bottom. And this gives you powered rails. Now these powered rails acts as boosters for your minecarts. What are you doing? Getting rid of stuff. Oh. So as I was saying, these, these powered rails act as boosters. If a cart goes over them, they will be boosted ahead as, like, you know, whatever. Um, so it's really useful, so you don't really need a minecart with a furnace, per se. You just kind of push it onto it, and then it'll move on by itself. As long as you have enough of these that you can, like, put them enough so that they keep hitting each other, then it'll just go all the way back home with no problem. Now, they also act as brakes, too. So if it's... Now the thing with power rails is that they're off, they're in an off state when you put them down, and you need redstone to power them on so that they act as boosters. Now this is getting into redstone, and I don't want to get that into that right now. Um, that's for another recording, and I'll be talking about redstone and all that stuff another time, I guess. We'll be doing some nice, cool stuff with that, and we'll see how that goes, I guess. Okay. 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 Doke. Um, alright, with that, I guess we can probably end off the recording. Um, what do you, don't hurt yourself. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it. I think we'll leave it off, oh god, I threw my sword. I'll leave it off here, so, anything you want to add? No. Yami? No. Anything you want to, anything about new, what we covered today? Uh. Your thoughts? No, I'm actually interested in like how you actually made all the stuff you're talking about just now seeing how unlike with chess I can't see what you're doing on the crafting table yeah I know but you'll see the video and it's fine but again you can look at the wiki now since I've actually talked about it so you can look it up yourself if you want um, but yeah I mean that that's they're really useful stuff to know about so all right let's see what else villages um and the rest of the stuff you really knew about we just kind of wanted to get people up to the speed of what we were doing so i guess that's about it i guess we'll say goodbye at this point so thanks again for watching nights and as always uh leave a rating comment subscribe if you're not subscribed yet uh be sure to also look up my minecraft server okay um, links will be in the description for pages where you can like sign up to go on my server and just have fun and stuff. Uh, so yeah. And you want to say goodbye? Oh, bye. You are totally not interested in saying goodbye at all, are you? You're like, bye, I don't care. I'm just gonna continue <laughs> mining. I'm just gonna mine. Do my own thing. I'm not even listening. Just... <laughs> but anyway, so Alright, so again Thanks for watching nights And I'll see you next time, alright? Alright, see out. you tonight. Peace